let's get down to the next component, which is the new sled design with the dust collection port that is in it. The old dust collection port had a, a little plastic insert here, so it tried just drawing air from right here. It looks like with this one, they've enclosed this area uh, with, a, with an inlet here for the bit to go in, hoping to draw that air out down and then through this hole here. Um, so we'll go ahead and take a look at this real quick, take a look at the design principle. Uh, as many of you know, dust collection is near and dear to my heart. It's not, uh, it's not just a cleanliness issue for me, it's a, a, it's a health issue. A lot of the plywood and stuff that we cut today, uh, especially anything that is like um, MDF or a chipboard or whatever it may be, even standard plywood, the expensive plywood that is 68 to 100 bucks a sheet that's cherry or, or oak veneer plywood, a large component of that plywood is epoxy. And so when you're using a CNC machine like this and it, it's throwing out dust left and right, you're not breathing dust, wood dust, you're breathing epoxy. And epoxy is uh, a cancer causing agent. So for me personally, um, I wanna catch <laughs> as much of the dust as possible. Um, so let's take a look at what this new dust collection design is here and the way, uh, I guess the design principle behind it, the way it's supposed to work. So M2 used to have just a little component that sat right here, and it had an opening that was right here underneath of this edge. And you would put your vacuum on this end, and it would draw air underneath of that plate. And it would draw air uh, basically in the area where these raised components are. So just that small area right there, but it, it, the design was to pull it down and then out. The reason why it does that is because the way that the Z-axis assembly is designed, this Z-axis right here goes all the way down onto the board. So an effective way to get the dust out this way um, from the Maker Made engineering side is to basically, they wanna, they, they take out a component of the board here they drop that down and then they run the dust underneath of this component here. So as you can see uh, with the new design, it goes all the way to the end. Um, this is a little shaky. I, I like to see it nice and tight myself, but uh, whether that's a deal breaker, I'll leave that up to you folks. Personally, I like to see it nice and tight. That way the dust can't get out of there and it's forced through here. But uh, this thing is a little bit uh, flimsy. And it, and it can get under there, but dust would be pulled in from this direction out and then through this hole. And this new design here basically is the same concept as the old one, but this one encompasses the entire three inch uh, center diameter in the sled. This is where the bit is. This is where it's doing its cutting. And I would think that with this design right here, instead of having all of this open here and then just trying to draw it through a small area right here and down, what they thought of was if they enclose this whole area with just a smaller bit here, this vacuum will create that uh, vacuum pressure in there as the bit spinning and it'll pull it straight down here. Good, good idea, good concept, right? And here you can actually see what I mean by the M2. So you can actually see under here I can raise this up. You can see right there where the M2, the, the new one, as well as the, the classic M2, the 2021 and the classic M2, both of the sled designs, the, the Z axis tower, go all the way down to the top of this board. So when you think about it, how do you get, how do you get dust out of there? The only way to do that is to go under the sled or around the sides of the sled. And to go under the sled, uh, the only way to do that is to mill into your deck, your board right here. And putting this cover in here kind of forces the air down. Uh, so here, here's, here's some of my thoughts on this. So I understand the, the engineering concept here. I get it. Um, basically this, uh, what is that? This hole in the back back here is right at one inch. Uh, Unfortunately, the head is way too small. The end of your router right here 
has ports that go all the way around the bottom of it and it's going to blow down here and it's going to blow into here but it's going to blow this around quite a bit and this little one inch hole just isn't sufficient to actually pull that dust down through here it's not it's not going to have enough vacuum area it, it's simple physics whenever you remove this and you take a look at this not only is this hole right here just way too small the depth of this area right here is, is very small i think the the thickness of that let's see if i can get a, a good measurement off of it yeah that's about the same size as the old design so you're right at uh, 0.39 inches. That is roughly, oh, I don't know, three eighths of an inch, close to three, oh, oh look, just a smidge over three eighths, uh, 2564, somewhere in there. So the, the, the depth here isn't very much because this component here takes up this whole top. Here. So when you put it on there, there, there's not much depth in there. Uh, so really what we're doing here is we just have a restricted airflow area in there. Now if you're any standard uh, dust collection or I should say shop vac, the hose that comes with a shop vac, the, they're usually uh, one and a half up to two inches. So this is even smaller than the dust port that comes on a standard vacuum. I'd really like to see a, a little better design on this, something that, that clamps in there nice and tight. But even in doing so, uh, I'm not sure if this is the right way to go with this because A, you're taking away strength on your board. I, from an engineering standpoint, whether it's right or wrong or whether it's going to do it, I don't like the way that they've made my board here thinner than the rest of the board. I like to have that flat and we all know that for these to slide around uh, on our surface, on our cut surface, the design of the M2 requires this to be as flat as possible right here. Uh, simply to keep it level. Otherwise, if the if the thing is bowed at all in any way, the bit cuts at an angle, so it, it really messes up your cuts. So for me, my preference, not saying that this one doesn't work, but my preference is I don't like to have this here. I like this a, a solid board. Uh, the other piece that I, I see here is when you put this in, uh, you don't have enough airflow just dynamically doing the engineering calculation. You don't even have close to enough airflow to pull this out. These bits right here are turning at, you know, anywhere from 20 to 30,000 RPMs. They're flinging dust left and right, and it will get through this hole. And this right here, I noticed when I put it on, uh, even though it is all the way down, um, I can still lift the back out. I can still lift that out. It, it moves. Um, so yeah, that, that's the dust collection. Again, nice, uh, nice try guys. Uh, I will say that I, I get it. I understand what you're trying to do, but, um, I think we're going down the wrong path there. I think you need to look at a, a different design when we're looking at this design right here. Me, I, of course I have a tendency, a lot of you out there have purchased my dust collection systems and probably for the same reasons that I have. Uh, it sits on here like this. It screws to the deck. It's solid sealing around there. It pulls air through here with two one and a half inch ports on both sides. So uh, I actually hook this up to a four inch inlet on my, my 850 CFM dust collector. I can sit in here and I can drink out of an open glass. Uh, I don't wear masks. I don't do anything. It filters all the way down to one micron uh, in the bag. So I, I'm definitely covered. But this is kind of the concept, right, is to enclose it, keep it there, don't let any dust out, and then evacuate the dust through these ports. With this one right here, Maker Made, I'm, I'm sorry, in my mind anyway, again, this is all opinionated, right? But in my mind, this still falls short. If I was to buy this new one, I guarantee you I'd have still design something, something different. Uh, with the, the square area that's in there, um, whenever I, I sell these ports, whenever I sell these, these dust collection systems, I have to plug this. And this right here is just a standard plug. I literally just took this off the printer about uh, 10 minutes ago. I'm trying to clean it up. It's getting ready to go out to a customer. But I took this and I went to put it on here. And I noticed that it's even smaller than, than the normal one. So that tells me that somehow this gap right here has even gotten smaller. So that means 
less area to pull the dust out of, less less airflow, which is not the right way to go. But um, if anybody, if I have to do this, if I have to sell these for this new unit here, I'd have to redesign this block to be thinner right here so it does fit down in there nice and tight. So compared to the, the old M2, the, the classic M2, um, with the new M2 in here, again, nice try. Um, this one, I, 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 I would still redesign it. I don't like it. I don't think it's sufficient enough for, for me and my, uh, I guess, my higher level of, of safety standards. I want to see it. I'm not saying that Maker Maid doesn't want their people to be safe, their customers to be safe, but for me, this is just inadequate for, for dust collection right here. Um, that's it. That's that's it for the uh, for the M2, and uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the uh, the new upgraded box on the digital controller here next. All right, stay tuned. <laughs>